Hey, g'day everybody, it's Matt here from Matt Carves. So today I'm going to make this. It's a pendant that I've had for about three years and I'm going to make, I've done a slightly different design. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but uh, I'm just going to show you the basics on how to make it. You don't need many tools and uh, you can sort of mix and match the tools. If you don't have one thing, you could probably use another. So let's get on with it and I'm going to give you a few tips on the way through. Okay. Okay, so first you want to choose three pieces of wood in a rectangle shape. Uh, it's good to have two sort of pale ones and a darker one. But if you don't have that, you could always uh, stain the middle one at the end. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to draw on your pattern. And these handy little templates are really good for that. So I use that oval one there. But uh, I often use that square one and the round one. And here I am just drilling in a hole. And that hole is essentially to put the blade of the scroll saw through. Now if you don't have a scroll saw, what I would do is I would just probably still drill a hole, maybe a little bit bigger, and use your power carver to uh, carve out two uh, shapes like that. Okay, so I've used this design for the middle piece of wood and you can use any design you want okay so here i am drilling holes in it and i'm going to do some inlays of some little brass rods and these brass rods i just get from jewelry uh, supplies okay so just put a dab of epoxy glue on each one and poke them through the holes and that's enough to hold them in and i don't even wait till it's dry before i sand it off so here i am actually put them all together and I've clamped down the pieces and I'm drilling through with a very small drill and I'm going to put one of those brass rods through each corner. The benefit of this is when I finish and I go to clamp that all together it doesn't slip or move around and then alter the design. So just put a small amount of glue on each side and you don't want too much because it squishes out into the middle and it's really hard to sand it down from the internal parts of it. So you can see here I've put a groove in the piece and that's where the actual necklace is going to go through. And what we're doing here is we're just putting on the last piece and you can see it go down like that. Then I trim off the brass rods and I clamp it down and I have left it overnight and then we sand it really. Okay, so here we have the two pendants at the end. Uh, my favourite has to be the one on the right, I feel. It's more organic and I just really, really like it. I've had it for three years and it's lasted me all through that time. Uh, I've just, I just really like it. And um, yeah, so come up with your own design or something similar to that. It's all good. Have fun out there.